How are you doing, Brian King, UK Flooring TV? Uh, today I'm over in Solihull at uh, our newest sponsor and supporter, Floor Skills Training Centre. Uh, joined by owner, Matt Bourne. Matt, how are you doing? Good, Brian. Thanks very much. Matt, uh, on entering, uh, I've, I've noticed how, how busy the centre is, and on social media as well, uh, you seem really busy. How's, how's the courses going? Yeah, courses are going really well. Um, we're, we're getting extremely good feedback. Uh, in fact, we've started doing more intense feedback and asking people to do feedbacks and courses and we're scoring 10 out of 10 and everything which is great uh, I say it's great I always like to try and improve and better what we're doing but <laughs> technically I've got nothing to improve at the moment so uh, moving forward we're gonna start doing some other stuff instead so. how many courses can you run here at once depending on what courses they are we have four dedicated actual practical areas so you could be running an LVT course, a carpet course, a wood course for example, all at the same time. They're all separate areas so they don't interfere with, one course doesn't interfere with another. Um, we've, got, we've got free conference rooms now as well, so some technical training, so manufacturers, uh, reps and technical teams for example. Uh, they could have 20 people in, in a conference room going through new products and so forth. Um, yeah, we've, we've just got multiple areas, easily run. That's realistic speaking, I suppose six courses at once with the conference rooms. I've noticed a couple of courses today, what's running today? Yeah, so today we've got a wood, uh, sand and ceiling course uh, and a subfloor prep course running as well. Again, because they run in separate areas, we're in this area which isn't in use today and it's, as you can see, it doesn't interfere uh, noise or anything like that because it's, it's all separated. It's quite a big place, isn't it? Yes, it, it's, we're Europe's largest uh, floor coverings training centre. Uh, we've also now got a place over in uh, Netherlands as well. Uh, we believe we're actually the world's biggest but we're not going to make that claim because America does have some big places that randomly pop up. Uh, but yeah we, we're touching something like 12,000 square feet of training area now. So. What are you doing over in the, the Netherlands? How's that going? So, the training centre in the Netherlands, uh, yeah, going good as well, uh, going from strength to strength. It's obviously newly established over there. Um, again, they're doing technical training for, again, a lot of different manufacturers, LVTs, uh, carpets. Doing things a bit different to us because, again, they don't tend to stretch fit over there. So, for the carpet course, there's a lot of uh, glue down and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's slowly progressing and we're going forwards and backwards with them, uh, helping them, trying to bring a bit more of the UK methods in with, with, with them as well. So yeah. Uh, Matt, do you have a particular course, what, what's busier than others? Do you have like a favourite course you run or are they all as busy as each other? The, the, it swings and roundabouts. One month we can be extremely busy in LVT and commercial vinyl can be very, very quiet. A month later the LVT courses are quiet and the commercial vinyl is uh, I've given up trying to predict what month's going to be busy for what course. It, it, it can't find a pattern to it. You see how it goes? It's just as it is, but as an overall, I mean, this year started off brilliant. We, we broke all records uh, in January alone. So it's, it's, it seems a really good year, good start so far. Matt, the, the thing I've noticed, your, cor your courses do look very appealing. Uh, with the, you kind of have an outside the box approach you take. Uh, is it yourself that what comes up with all these <laughs> ideas? Or <laughs> um, yeah, yes and no. If I'm going to be honest, some of the ideas are mine, but I've also got some really good trainers, and some of their ideas that they pop across to me, uh, I sit on for a bit, and I've got to admit that they do come with some really good ideas. But this uh, seems to be the modern way, the, the approach you're taking. Yeah. Uh, who instructs you at the minute? Who have you got uh, on the boots? We've got lots. Um, we have specialist instructors in each section. Um, uh, too many to list to be honest, but it, it's, it's, we, we, we've got four instructors for RBT for example, uh, two on the wood side, uh, a couple for the commercial vinyl, separate ones for, uh, we do wall cladding, we've got resin, uh, there's quite a lot of us around. So it's been good to have a lot because a lot of them have their own businesses so yes. if they can't make a course you can fall back on somebody else. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you have a couple of new courses coming out, uh, what are those? So we've got a new resin course which is actually, it's already out, uh, we run it last month. 
uh, again had a really good response on it. It's, it's a bit different to, to your traditional epoxy resin, which most people know of. Uh, this is these are polyurethane resins. Uh, the bonus is they're actually coating systems. The big difference with that resin course is you can overcoat existing floor coverings. So take a hospital for example where the floors might be stained but actually still got plenty of life in them. We can change the colour of that floor without lifting, without the disturbance. Um, again we've got coatings for LVTs to make them anti-stick for example. Um, we've also got a coating which we can put on LVT which is a, poly, it's a, it's a polyurethane wear layer so it increases the wear layer of the LVT but it's also a plasticizer blocker which means you can now put LVT in a customer's garage for example and we can stop the car tires from reacting with that LVT. It, it's a very very specialist course there's nothing really out there the same so that's our resin course we've also got uh, a new carpet course coming um, which is carpet binding um, stair runners how to mark out how to template stairs we get plenty of calls of people saying you know how do I mark out for, for, for a winder um, so they can send, send the material to be bound by a local person that does whipping for example so we, we've created a course uh, where on that course they will be learning how to use a whipping machine along as well as um, actually templating, creating it, doing it, mitre joins and stuff like that. Um, so that, that's the second course coming. The third one that's been launched is a more advanced LVT course. Now when I say an advanced LVT course, um, it's not about the installation as such. Uh, we've got our LVT level 1, our LVT level 2, uh, we've got our custom designs level 1 which is a motifs course which again we've had quite a few people through that and it's, that's got quite a lot of interest. The new, new course is the custom designs level 2 which is where we're going to be showing you how to put text into a floor, um, silhouettes um, in, into floors, how, how, to, how to create the design, how, how to get it put into the floor. Um, alternative corners, different ways of doing a ball no step. Uh, I mean, you've got bending planks going in sideways, uh, fanning them. Uh, and again, alternative corners, how to do little designs in corners, custom border work. There's quite a lot packed into it. Um, so, yeah, there, there are three courses which will all be live by the time you watch this video. So, are you taking bookings from Amara already yet? Not yet, but by the time you watch this video, it will be live. So basically, tomorrow, which is um, Friday, everyone will be available to book. Okay. Uh, Matt, your new apprenticeship scheme, how is that going? Uh, are you finding the changes? Changes? Uh, yeah, so there's a few changes to the new apprenticeship. Uh, the duration was increased, um, however, we don't need to run that duration, it's an estimated duration. Um, Quite a few little bits being added into it, but not too dissimilar to the way it was before. Uh, again, if they're under 19, full funding is now back again, so you can send your apprentice on a full uh, textile and purpose apprenticeship free of charge. There's an incentive there as well. Unfortunately, if they're over 19, there is a small contribution, uh, but for the 40 odd days of training they get, it, it works out nothing really. So, yeah. Uh, are you getting uh, much support from manufacturers? Yeah, manufacturers are, are, are great. Um, we're doing, they support us with materials, uh, carpets, vinyls and stuff like that. Again, we do quite a few deals with them, so we've got more and more manufacturers using the training centre and we'll do a deal that I need, you know, we could do with some of this. And they're like, well, can we use your training centre? Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll do a swap on certain things. And uh, again, we're also doing courses on behalf of manufacturers. Uh, we've got more and more manufacturers coming on board using the training facility to run their courses which I don't know let's say pick out a name Modulao for example we will be uh, acting as Modulao on that day it's their course um, it could be Harvard Maria it could be Oozing whoever um, so yeah more and more manufacturers are starting to use the facility because at the end of the day it is your biggest it's been built for everyone to use it's not all about floor skills courses on the same subject, uh, what other things do you do here at the training centre besides like apprenticeships and courses? Uh, all types. <laughs> so we've got your normal courses, uh, we've got a massive range, I think we've got something like 40 courses 
Um, they don't all display at the same time and as a website because we'll drop some out for six months of the year and drop things in and so on and so forth. Uh, we can also do um, MVQs, on-site MVQs for people who need to get a CACS card. Uh, all the way through to we've got a new dedicated team which is which is starting where we can actually do levy funded so we can actually do uh, business management courses where we'll come out to, to, to the retailer for example customer services warehouse uh, all types that does a whole range which again it's new but we put the right people in place who know how to run those sort of courses so basically you're covering every aspect of the flooring industry yes yeah well, Matt, thanks very much for speaking to us. Uh, good luck with whatever you've got, got planned next. And yeah. uh, thanks very much. No worries, mate. Cheers. Thanks very much.